I am going to review The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller and I'm really disappointed to say that I didn't like it. This was one of my most anticipated reads of the year and it greatly disappointed me. Um, I gave it three stars because it's not like the worst thing I've ever read but I was expecting it to be a five star so this is super disappointing. So first of all let's talk about uh, world building. So there was none. <laughs> there was none. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I can't remember what the names of the countries are, I don't know anything about these countries, uh, I don't know anything about the landscape, I don't know what season this was in, nothing. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. I also don't know that there was any sort of other magical ability other than the king, who is the main character, having shadows and being able to walk through walls because he was made of shadows. I don't know what I expected this book to be, but it turned out to be everything that I didn't love. <laughs> I just I don't get it. So our main character is Alessandra, and she is a slithering ass bitch, and she just wants to take over the kingdom for herself. She's just like an earl's daughter, and she's just like, you know, I could be queen. So then she decides to uh, woo the Shadow King, and kill him and take over as queen. That's her plan. Um, she's also done some kind of shady shit in the past. Um, so this is gonna be a spoilery review, by the way. So if you had planned to read this, I don't know how to do this without spoilers, honestly, because I have specific things I want to talk about that I just I I, I don't feel like cutting this up between non-spoiler and spoiler. So I'm just gonna do the whole damn thing. Alessandra, it starts off and Alessandra talks about how she killed the first boy that she ever loved because he decided he didn't love her anymore. And that started off like really cool. I, I really liked that, but that was it. <laughs> and she didn't ever pay any kind of repercussions for it. And throughout the story, you think, oh, she's gonna get caught for the shit she did in the past. Cause there's a couple things. So she had several sexual partners, which I mean, good for her. That's what she wants to do, which she did. And, and she's proud of it. And I'm, I'm glad that she was like a sexually liberated woman. The problem is that the way that she did this without getting in trouble with her like Earl father, is that she would blackmail all the dudes that she was sleeping with into not saying anything and she's afraid of getting caught specifically with one of these dudes and getting found out about like the blackmail and the sexual relationship and stuff and you think like oh she's gonna get found out and shit's gonna go downhill because of this but it doesn't she just like everything works out <laughs> Okay, and it gets wrapped up so quickly and easily. It's like, this is stupid. And then on top of that, um, you think, oh, she's gonna get in trouble for having killed her former lover, the guy, the only guy she ever loved. And the king finds out and he like literally laughs about it. Like he thinks it's hilarious and then he pardons her. And you've thought this whole book that she's gonna get found out and get thrown in jail for it. And he just laughs about it. You also never really meet any other characters besides, this is very much like court politics and that kind of thing. There were also more dresses and descriptions of dresses because she's a seamstress, she likes to make her own shit, which is really cool, but there were more dress descriptions than there was plot, and I don't like that. I would like there to be more plot than dress descriptions. I think that, you know, we shit on Sarah J Mass all the time, but at least the woman wrote a plot around all those dress descriptions. Except in A Quarter Frost and Starlight, that was just garbage and, and outfit descriptions. Leggings in fantasy, are you serious? So this book really didn't have a plot. And, at, and you know that they're gonna get together, but everything was just so easy. And then I kept asking myself, why does she think that she'd make a better queen? Like. What specific ideas does she have that she could not make happen without this dude in the picture? Like, he was a nice guy from the get-go. Why does she not need him? And then he's like, hey, you can be my partner. And she's like, great, because I'm in love with you now. Okay, but like, why was this a problem? Like, why could you not have... I there was just no really big issues. And that's what plot is. So if you like fluffy books with little to no plot, lots of dress descriptions, this is a book you could like veg out on and read in one day and it's just kind of like it's done and for that reason I gave it three stars because it wasn't horrible it was just kind of like this is fluffy and <laughs> I was not in it for fluff I wanted something a little deeper and I understand that it probably could have been made into more had it been a trilogy I know that some people have said that but I want a book that can just like 
do the thing in one book, like Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. And I haven't read this one, but that's her, um, that's Astrid Schulte's, uh, sophomore novel and I assume that she will do a good job in this one as well. I mean that's what they're supposed to be. Like you should be able to do things in one book and nothing happened in this one book. <laughs> nothing happened. There were no stakes. There was no plot. There was just dresses and and this girl doing stuff and getting away with it. Like literally she never said sorry for anything. She killed a dude. She didn't say sorry. She planned to kill the king and gets found out. She didn't say sorry. Like nothing happens and I guess that she's and I get that she's ambitious because she's a Slytherin I mean it's not like said that she's a Slytherin it's just in my head this is like all right this is the ultimate Slytherin love story but it just was kind of dumb and there were so many things that could have been done better and it could have been more high stakes and more people could have like died there could have been more stabbing and there's just there wasn't enough violence so that's really it um this was kind of an unstructured review I didn't have any notes I just had a bunch of complaints um, what did I like about it? Shadow magic was kind of cool, but it wasn't explored very much, so there was really nothing much to it. I guess I'm just glad it was there. I guess my kid's mad. Okay, well, I guess that's, that's it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've read this and what you thought of it. Um, if you liked it more than I did. I hope so, because I was really disappointed. I'm hoping that the rest of my most anticipated reads for this year do not disappoint me the way that this did because this was like one of five and I just I'm so sad that this didn't turn out to be what I wanted it to be okay leave your thoughts down below like this video if you feel like it subscribe if you want to I don't know what's happening to my child okay I'm gonna go see you next time bye